click the bell, turn on all notifications, and subscribe for around-the-clock WWE news in real time. The home of the most consistent and dedicated breaking news in WWE, Sean's View Ends, is here for you. Like, comment, and share today. This is the exhilarating, the fascinating, the entertaining, the intriguing Sean's View Entertainment where we keep you glued to your cell phone, your laptop, your desktop, your PC, your te- whatever device you have, even your TV. Sean's View Entertainment brings it right into you. Why? Because I wouldn't have it any other way. Ladies and gentlemen, here on Sean's View Entertainment, what did you think? Again, it's your thoughts, your comments. It's an open forum in the comment section. You agree, disagree, for me, against me uncensored, uncut, we deliver it to you. What did you think about night one of the draft? Were you for it? Were you against it? Were you entertained? Were you compelled? Were you stunned? Did you see something coming? Did you not see it coming? Carmelo Hayes, you had some NXT call-ups. You had some surprises. You had some shocks. We were left in awe on some of the WWE that we got tonight on SmackDown. But ladies and gentlemen, one of the memorable moments tonight was when Carmelo Hayes was drafted. And in the main event, he got on his first night from NXT, the first pick of the draft, he got to pick to go against the reigning defending WWE champion Cody Rhodes in a moment that this man will never, ever forget. This man, Carmelo Hayes, is going to go far. What about Braun Breaker? What about his performance? What about how he's finishing matches and not minutes, seconds? Braun Breaker is finishing people off in seconds. Now, out of a rating out of 10 or 5 stars, the 5 star melts a rating, whatever rating you want to go by, would you say it was 3 out of 5, 4 out of 5, 5 out of 5, or do you want to go the 10 route? 7 out of 10, 8 out of 10, 9 out of 10, 3 out of 10. What did you overall think about the Blue Branch SmackDown tonight and the draft and everything that we saw and represented tonight? Sean's View Entertainment, if I'm reviewing SmackDown, if I'm seeing SmackDown, I get to give SmackDown 7 out of 10. The draft still, even under the Triple H era, um, you know, again, it's still kind of lost that luster, that, 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 prestige that it once had. I'll be honest. I'm not going to come and say it was the greatest. It was excellent. It was good. It was okay. Uh, again, it's going to be very hard to live up to the days of, you know, the Bischoff and the Stephanie McMahons and the uh, Paul Heyman draft and Raw and SmackDown when they were at the height of their popularity. Some would say that the draft has been, you know, a little bit steel now, but it did seem a little bit more regenerated. It seemed a little bit more rejuvenated tonight. I will say that the draft seemed a little bit more rejuvenated tonight on the blue brand. That's what I will admit. So again, I give it 7 out of 10 stars. I'm going to do the 10 ratio and not the Meltzer 5 out of 5, 4 out of 5 classic. Um, But there was some storyline developments with Kevin Owens and the Bloodline and Randy Orton. I like that and you know, Paul Heyman continues to seem seem like he's on the edge of his seat. Seems like he's uh, walking on eggshells. Is uh, the the mastermind, the um, former ECW owner. Um, but then, ladies and gentlemen, then we got the scary moment, guys. And uh, this this is something that is going to be heavily looked into. We saw tonight in the main event, the main attraction of SmackDown, the WWE champion, the man that will go against AJ Styles at Backlash. Now, there's still rumors and news. There's still information coming in, filing again. There could be multiple changes. This could have just been part of the show uh, to get us a little scared. uh, But we all know the history, the significance of Cody Rhodes and surgery and injuries, and doctors, and hospitals, and medics, and all that other stuff. We know that Cody Rhodes was gone for a very long time when he made his his re-debut, his return to the WWE a couple of years ago. We all saw what went went, went down to Cody Rhodes' pectoral, his shoulder. We all saw how, you know, just terrible it was. It, It was heinous. It was horrible. And tonight on SmackDown, it looked like Cody Rhodes was worse for wear. It looked like he was hurt. It looked like he was injured. It took Cody Rhodes a little bit to come back. Rhodes was favoring his shoulder. I don't know if it was the pec, his shoulder. An awkward landing, a bad landing for Cody Rhodes. Ladies and gentlemen, I suppose the rumors and the news are going to start circling in. Is Cody Rhodes okay? Is he fine? Is he going to have to take a sabbatical? Is he going to have to take a break? With Cody Rhodes injured, if he is indeed injured... Is the WWE going to have to take a closer look at this one? Is he going to have to forfeit the title to AJ Styles? Are we going to see a fill-in champion if Cody Rhodes is indeed hurt? 
Obviously, ladies and gentlemen, there's a lot of different variables. There's a lot of b very big differences that could happen here. Um, you know, you don't ever want to see the WWE. Ma imagine how horrible, how tragic that would be if Cody Rhodes for two years fought his ass off, you know, came back from surgery, came back from injury, was on the shelf, and then something as tragic and as horrible as something like Let's just cross our fingers that this is not happening. I know all the Cody haters out there, the Cody crybabies, they're going to probably wish this happened, and I hope this happened, and, you know, shut the rain off and cut the rain off. We don't want to see him on our screens. It's already bland. It's already boring. It's already over. No, you cannot wish any injury. If you're a WWE fan, whether you're for the heels, the faces, the good guys, the bad guys, whatever side of the fence you're on, you don't want to ever see a wrestler get injured, especially when they go out there day in and day out, night in and day out, and they put it all on the line. And Cody Rhodes did look very worried. Again, it took him a little bit longer to get up than he usually would, and it was a high-stakes match. It was in the main event of SmackDown. It was on Fox, no doubt about it, but hopefully cooler heads prevail. Oh, wait a minute. No, we do got a massive update coming in. Wait a minute. Hold on, viewers. Hold on. Oh, yep, the powers that be, you know, trainers will be looking into this. Uh, trainers are going to be looking into this. And and also, as this is going to be looked into, guys, the undisputed WWE Championship match, Cody Rhodes versus AJ Styles, if Cody Rhodes can now make it after what seemed to be an injury, then, then you've got Damian Priest versus Jey Uso. You've got a triple threat match for the WWE Women's title, Bailey, Tiffany Stratton, and Naomi. And then you've got the WWE Women's Tag Team Championship match, Bianca Belair and Jade Cargill versus Oscar and Carrie Sane. And then you've got Randy Orton and Kevin Owens versus the Bloodline, Solo Sokoa and Tama Tunga. Now, obviously, there's massive developments going into SmackDown. Make no mistake about that at the end of the day. But also, what we're not going to make no mistake about is, again, ladies and gentlemen, what may be um, a, a travesty, what many might call an absolute tragedy, striking. Again, guys, we're going to stay up to date on this. Right now, take this with a grain of salt. Um, if there's any developments, if there's any updates on this, we will obviously update you as quickly as we can. And ladies and gentlemen, that's another edition of the most consistent, prolific, and dedicated uploads in YouTube's history. Remember to sign up to become a channel member today. Donate, because ladies and gentlemen, Sean View Entertainment is going to give you the flow of the show day in and night out. Why? Because you bring Sean View Entertainment, the expectations, the views, the comments, the opinions, it's all about you at the end of the day, because Sean View Entertainment says thank you so much, because now we are at 145,000 subscribers, almost Thousands and thousands away till we get to that 150 range. Ladies and gentlemen, you are awesome. Your thoughts, your comments, your opinions on SmackDown, Cody Rhodes' potential injury, and the future of the WWE Undisputed Champion.